In related news, the opposition's calling for a comprehensive crime plan, even going as far as to stage a demonstration outside the House of Assembly on Wednesday. In response, National Security Minister the Honorable Wayne Monroe stressed that Commissioner Clayton Fernanda revealed portions of such a plan during Tuesday's handover ceremony. Commissioner Fernanda has laid out to us the parts of it that can be disclosed. It is really rich for persons to talk about an escalation in crime when a strategy of saturation patrols is hampered because you didn't buy the police cars. And so to go on patrol, they have to take... You have to take patrol cars from the station. In 10 months, we have ordered cars. We have ordered the cars and they are arriving. But opposition MPs were not letting up. St. Barnabas MP Shannon Don Cartwright and his party leader, Marco City Rep, Michael Pintard, questioned what is being done to address challenges and the blame assigned when it comes to the ongoing crime fight. But the first option cannot be nine months in, nine months into an administration, that it's still the free national movement's fault. Come on, Madam Speaker. We still have a manpower shortage. When I last spoke, I went through the ranks to demonstrate the amount of shortage that we have. So again, the jury is out on whether or not over the course of the next three or four years, you are going to dramatically increase it. But right now, you have done nothing remarkably different than what has been done by the previous administration with respect to the manpower shortage. The Commissioner of Police himself has said that he is short of manpower since coming to office. That has been addressed by 250. And come September, it'll be addressed by another 100. And next year, it'll be addressed again. 